Do we like this better? Does it look weird from the back? Don't mind these cords. Um, I'm still trying to figure out where to put this lamp, but you guys, I love being a tall girly, but then we have these issues and I have a hard time finding anything that's long enough for me. I am 5'6". I don't think that's super tall. I think that's average. You guys let me know what you think, but this does look a little funny, huh? I could just, I could just like try to pull it down. Okay, that looks better. But yeah, this is my outfit of the day. Sorry, it's a little dark in here. I found this black jumpsuit at Marshalls and this um, bolero, knit bolero, is from a dress. It's from a set that I bought on, what is this, on Cider, which is like a Shein, but it's Cider and it came with the matching dress and this on top, so I just took the bolero from that set and pair it up with this outfit but yeah so i'll talk to you guys in the car okay actually i should have had something to eat before getting ready it's always once i'm about to leave the door where i where when i realize i haven't ate and i don't want to get dizzy no me quiero mal pasar i always forget to eat when i have plans when i'm at home i can eat but once i get ready or i'm excited like right now i'm excited to take you guys with me I forgot to eat. Let's go ahead and cook something up. So I'm going to show you guys what I eat every morning. I only have this every morning because I feel, I think that the um, bread expires really quickly. So I have to, you know, make a use of it. So I make the same breakfast every day hasta que se me termine el pan. So this is the bread that I like to use. And I'm going to, I don't have aguacate. Usually I'll just make like an avocado toast, but Yesterday I didn't have aguacate and I haven't and I didn't go buy any more But I still made it exactly the same way except with the aguacate and it came out really good You guys, I just realized que no tengo huevos, so I'm just going to have to make a ham and bacon sandwich. That's fine. No pasa nada, no pasa nada. I decided I didn't want to do two bread, so don't judge me. This is really good. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know. I'm always posting my breakfast. Hey guys so I know it's been a really long time since I last posted a video and I think it's been about a month now you know life happens there was a few things going on that unfortunately didn't work out for me so I had to make some some changes and adjust to the changes and accept the changes as they were um, Unfortunately, sometimes things just don't work out the way that you hope for but I trust the Lord that You know that this specific situation didn't work out for me for a reason and something better will work out So but anyways, I'm not going to get too deep into it. I just wanted to bring you guys along my Sephora 
shopping little spree if you know you know if you don't know now you know sephora is having their annual sale and there are a few things that i actually want to try out i surprisingly i'm not the type of person that likes to go shopping for makeup a lot i'm very basic i oh my gosh there's so many people walking around uh yeah so i'm not the type of person that actually shops for makeup a lot i'm very basic i'm I always just repurchase the same things. I never really buy anything new. Um, you know, I have my my staples and I stick to those and it is and and that's it. I never shop for new makeup. I recently did buy though the uh new Patrick Ta uh Major Dimensions 3 palette. I think that's what it's called and I loved it. It's like right up my alley, so I had to get it when it came out. Um, but I have seen a few things that I want to try out so I'm super excited to bring you guys along my little shopping my little Sephora shopping spree so yeah let's go ahead and head inside I really want to try a darker bronzer, but I'm so intimidated. They scare me. This is the color Golden Almond. This one right here, I believe. So, yo según llegué a la casa, sorry, I'm burping because I just had spaghetti. Llegué a la casa after Sephora and I started cooking dinner. Y yo bien campante, bien a gusto cooking dinner. I was watching YouTube, me senté, and I had a bowl of spaghetti. And then I realized that I missed my nail appointment. My nail appointment was scheduled for 2.45 and it is now 2.50. So I called the place and I was like, hey, um, I'll be there in 10 minutes. It's like 10 minutes away from me. Is that okay? They said, yeah, go ahead and come in. So we're on our way to go get my nails done. And um, I'm super excited to try this new girl out. So I always go to this place to do just a manicure, never a full set because I just don't trust anybody doing my full set. But I know also one of my friends goes there and she goes to this girl specifically and her nails always look really cute so i want to give her a try the nails that i had on oh, ya me las quité yo i bit them off este the nails that i had on i did them myself they're gel x but it just takes so much time for me to do them myself last time it took me three hours and i think that's just because i'm such a perfectionist and i'm filing my life away hasta que me quede a mi gusto you know so anyways enough rambling i'll see you guys on my nail appointment and i'll show you guys my nails afterwards also i'm going to show you what i ended up grabbing at sephora and maybe try a few products on this is what they look like let's go ahead and move on to 2023 Sephora annual sale haul <laughs> I'm just going to clean up my lips so that I can try on some of the new lip products that I got oh this is a lot smaller than the one I thought I had grabbed well I did say lip oil is the other one different anyway, let me see is this the right color yeah so, I specifically went to Sephora for this product. I had been seeing it around a lot and I always thought it was really cute. This is a Dior lip oil in the color mahogany. Oh, look, it matches my nails. Yeah, 
yeah it feels really nice on the lips it smells really good and it looks good but i don't know is this the one i had seen i feel like the one that i was uh going for was a little bit longer so i found the screenshot see this is the one that i was looking for i don't know what the difference is this is a lip oil and this is a dior lip maximizer okay my camera's about to die so i'll be right back okay guys i'm back i had to put my hair down um up in a clip i just feel so much more comfortable with this hairstyle literally así me la vivo todos los días así me, you're, you ever catch me this is what this is how i look every day in a freaking hair clip and my little copetito in the front but anyway yeah so i got the wrong um dior lip oil but it's okay i actually really like this one and i had nothing underneath so i can only imagine imagine how much more prettier it'll look over a lip liner. So I'm happy with that purchase. I also picked up the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Heat Lip Glass Slipper. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what it's called. But it's just a clear lippy. I had also seen a girl wearing this one, but instead of the heat, it was the iced one. And she was wearing it over a, a really pretty pink nude lip liner and just this over top and it looked super pretty so i usually would never go for like clear glosses like this because for what like i love glosses that have a tint to it but we'll have to try it out regardless i love lip glosses this next purchase um i love a rare beauty already and i already do have one of their liquid blushes and i have been wanting to buy more but i was never really convinced on a color what that i got is rare beauties liquid blush this is in the color hope this one i think it's the perfect like fall blush so i don't know why i'm smelling it but it's just so pretty Something I don't ever really gravitate towards to just because I haven't been able to find the right primer. I've tried Milk's um, Hydro Grip Primer and I feel like it breaks my foundation and it just doesn't sit nicely on my skin. A lot of these products convince me from girls on TikTok that I usually wouldn't, like I said, gravitate towards the clear gloss um, lip gloss or primers because i just haven't been able to find a primer that works for me but i saw anyway i saw this girl um doing her makeup and she uses the hourglass veil primer and i love it too because it has sunscreen the only form of primer that i use at the moment and i think it looks beautiful under your foundation is the it's super goop the matte screen and i love that one because it has a tint to it and what the tint does is that for photography it's not going to give you a white uh white cast so um and it works as a primer it smooths and blurs out your skin and it just looks beautiful under your foundation the last product is also a product that i have been eyeing for a really long time but like i said i'm not usually one to buy a lot of makeup i just use what i have until i have to restock it and with eyeshadow palettes i already have the makeup by mario matte master matte palette and i had just picked up the patrick ta major dimensional 3 palette which i only only use the makeup by mario master palette like that's all i ever use and i do have other eyeshadow palettes but i've had them for years so if i ever need a glitter one then i can just go into one of my really old morphe uh, um eyeshadow palettes and i'm fine and like i don't need any more eyeshadow palettes but this one i've been eyeing and I just think it's so beautiful. So it is the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eye Palette. And this is what that looks like. Again, Tech Talk. I've seen girls doing their makeup with these glitters. I picked up this palette specifically for the glitters because um, I don't know why I find it. Let me know if you agree with me or if you're like me. But I feel like it's really hard to find nice glitter shadows. Is that just me? Let me know. But like I said, I see girls using this palette a lot for their eye, for their eye looks. And 
these glitters are just so so pretty yeah i know you can tell i barely tapped the palette so i'm super excited that i got this one i was literally i at sephora i grabbed the uh, makeup by mario the master mattes palettes and i compared them together because i thought the colors the colors were so similar except for the glitter ones but that one doesn't have like this uh rosy pink eyeshadow palette um eyeshadow or this this one here it does but i feel like this one's a little bit more ivory it this one's like a dark brown but it almost looks like it has a purplish tint i don't know how to describe my colors but anyway super excited that i got this one and that is it for my sephora haul i hope that you guys enjoyed today's video i'm going to try to you know be as consistent on youtube again i was pretty consistent for a minute and then I, like i like i said life just happened and i had to work through some things but now i'm back and you let me know what other videos you'd like to see i do plan on doing a um get ready with me or my makeup routine if that's something that you're interested in but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll see you guys in the next one